All right, camera is recording. I hope everything is going well. All right, guys. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create this visual in a nutshell. This means that I will show you the process behind creating this visual. This is some sort of inspirational content about how can you use Photoshop in a new way. The process will include number one, putting images together to create a cohesive composition. Number two, fixing the lightness values of each element to create depth and putting the haze effect effect and number three matching the saturation and the color of each element to blend all the image together and next I will draw the light and shadow and finally putting the final effects and the final grading I will show all this in this video but in a nutshell but if you want the full version of this tutorial don't worry I've got you covered you will find a full lens tutorial of this visual besides the stock images the PSD file in the description in my Skillshare classes and Udemy class. So without any further ado, let's dig into Vezels. All right, guys, I started the visual by this image of the ground in which I will put the building and select it with the pen tool, of course, and then put the building into this possession, make it a little bit bigger and start selecting it by the pen tool. I assume that you know everything about the pen tool. So let's go. Next, I refined some edges of the grass and now I'm trying to blend the image of the building with the ground as you can see right now in a nice way. Let's erase these parts. There you go. Next, I will select this rock image to be put in the foreground part and I will get another copy of it and make it a little bit smaller and then i will erase some parts with the mask of course as you can see here these elements will be in the foreground to create depth into our visual and next i will get this image of the guy and of course you can use any tool you want to select it from the background and next i will choose this dramatic sky and let's put this mountain right here pen tool is my favorite of course and I don't mind using some refinement in the edges let's make it bigger let's duplicate it and boom we have got the mountain now let's care about the mid ground elements in these parts I will fade these trees a little bit and finally the great wall of China this will enhance our visual of course the mid ground part next I'll put this moon in the metal to enhance our composition i've used this building chinese buildings as you can see here and some refinement in the edges carefully in the edges this will make it look professional and let's put it right here very good now let's create another version of this rocky part but with another building of course you can see here let's erase the edges and there you go now we have got everything in possession next we will put this bridge image in the metal as you can see here erase it with the pen tool and the brushes trying to make the legs a little bit taller as you can see here and then let's duplicate this leg to put into the left side erase some parts from the edges let's put it here and then flip it horizontally and erase some parts from the edges all this work will enhance the bridge shape and now let's duplicate these legs very cool now let's put our bridge right here in the middle now let's create some foreground rocks as you can see here the same rock image i've used more than one time so let's flip it and there you go now it's time to adjust the lightness values and then the colors let's go so i prefer firstly to create a black and white adjustment layer to exclude the colors and saturation and now we are only care about the lightness values so i created curves adjustments layer and i'm now adjusting the values of each element into our composition and the golden rule as you know the farther the objects are the more brighter and less contrasty they are okay some curves open up the shadows darken up the highlights as you can see i'm now trying to gradually match the values here you go in this part now let's go to the next element these buildings the same way we have done with the foreground this part i don't like it so let's erase 
this part and let's enhance the transition with some grassy brushes. Now I'm trying to adjust the values of the building at the left and also the uh, rocks in the foreground should be a little bit darker and these rocks and the image of the man of course so this part should be darker the bridge of course and the ground part very cool now the values are already fixed so let's go to the colors and saturation of each element i will do this by a hue saturation adjustment layer and i'm trying to lower down the saturation of some parts that high that have high saturation so let's lower the saturation of the main building and three two one boom all the elements are faxed now let's go to the colors i will only use a color balance adjustment layer to blend all the colors of each element to the whole scene so that is what i'm mainly doing here adjusting the color of the highlights the mid tones and the shadows of each element into the whole scene and the first part i'm starting with is the sky because the sky would be the main source of light and the whole scene will get its color from the color of the sky of course so i'm now trying to adjust all the colors of each element into our scene but not try not to create a monotone design because we want some color variation into our visual as you can see here that's what i'm trying to do Sometimes I get back to the values and adjust them also again because you will not get it from the first time so feel free to readjust everything while you are proceeding into your visual. Next I will create some styles for the moon outer glow and inner glow and some color overlay to be blended into the sky in a better way and some glowy effect using the curves adjustment layer using the mask and of course with the low flow i will paint around the moon very cool now it's time to adding the haze effect as you can see here the fog this foggy effect i used a lot into my visual because i wanted the scene to be like it's between the clouds so there should be some foggy and cloudy atmosphere around each element as you can see here in this part of the building and let's erase and add some parts right here and of course the farther you go in distance the more the effect of the fog should be here in this part of the bridge let's add some fog effect between these legs this is so artistic i like it a lot so now it's time to add the light and shadow of each element now i'm trying to draw some shadows of the bridge and as you can see now i'm not using absolute black into the shadows the shadows should have some color and here i'm trying to create some light effect as you can see here i'm now drawing some light effect that is coming from this cave from the right this is some sort of artistic Thing. this will give our visual interest and it will look more appealing to the eye and of course if you have a source of light there should be a reflected light and if you don't know how to draw lights i've already explained this in a full tutorial in the this eye and in the description as you can see i'm trying to follow the form of each element here drawing the lights into our guy and this should be very accurate and not too much and the more you are far away from the light source the less the amount or the intensity of light should be so the near elements should have higher intensity of lights and the far elements should have lower intensity of lights now it's time to balance the color of our visual because we have a lot of orange lights into the right so we need to balance this into the left part and as you can see here i'm now duplicating this part and putting it into this black 
windows and doors because it will not look good when we lit it up i'm using now the gradient map to create our light source this gives me a good shape of the light as you can see here i'm now trying to draw the source of light itself and then we will draw the hazy effect or the glow around the light source as you can see here the gradient map is creating some sort of texture into the parts that are being lit Now it's time to add some glow around this source of light. I will use a hue saturation to create this glow with the screen blending mode. As you can see, this is creating some glow around the source of light. And next we will use exposure to create the high intensity part of light, which is the core of light. As you can see here, I'm now just making the center parts lighter next we will create a solid color adjustment layer by using this layer i will just draw the reflected light into our scene as you can see here these parts this part this part needs some analytical skills so as you can see here i'm now looking at the visual and imagining in which parts the light should fall and where can i draw the lights precisely very cool i'm now just duplicating this foggy part and changing its color now it's time to draw some lights here into these buildings with the same way of the gradient map and the glow effect that's all what i done here Now it's time to enhance the lightness as you can see here in these parts and in the grass and the other parts. Very cool. Now it's time to draw the light that is coming from the moon. So this will be the bright, low saturated blue color as you can see here. And then we will draw the shadow, of course, and it should be some sort of sharp shadows, not a soft one because the moon will create, of course, sharp shadows. Here, and as you can see here in this building, I'm now trying to create sharp lights and sharp shadows. As you know, of course, when the source of light is far away and small, it should create sharp lights and then create sharp shadows. And of course, recreating the light and shadow will give our visual a three-dimensional look and will will make the whole visual more cohesive and blended in a better way very cool let's add some shadows to the great wall of china these parts and finally, some glow effects resulting from the lights of the moon. 
in this bridge we should have some sharp shadows here in these parts these should be carefully drawn And we should of course draw some lights into our guy because it should have some lights reflecting from the sky of course. And this split our guy from the background and it adds to the story. And some lights into the rocks. And some vignetting effect to centralize our visual. Very cool. And finally, we will create the final grading into the camera row filter. In this part, I'm changing every slider I can until I get the best results for my visual. And that's all that, guys. Here is our final visual. I've created three versions the warm one, the neutral one and this blue dreamy one please let me know in the comments which one you prefer most and finally if you want the full length tutorial beside the stock images and the psd file you will find the link into the description in my skillshare and udemy classes and if you want to know how to draw light precisely and accurately i recommend you to watch this video peace